So the last time I was talking to my papi there, my old man there, my piki there, all my rear gear there, I in my own broad street and there, I went Clara Town, I even went Pinsville, I went Bon, Lofa, Nimba, Grand Cape Man, and all my papi there, everybody is just telling me, say, the man, I said, we not see the man, the man looking like good man, the man just good, all the things the man talking, it makes sense to help our whole country. But all the people then just keep telling us, say, oh, the man just coming, the man do nothing for Liberia. So I say, you know what? Yo, wait, let me go check so I can find out the thing here. So I went and checked. I checked that when the man was working with Coca Cola, the man used his position to get people in Coca Cola to donate about $2 million to support Liberia. During the Ebola town, the man decided, he said, I will help, I will get people together, I will use my position. $2 million. He stopped there. He provided scholarship for our children and Liberian children and in Liberia and abroad. The man sponsored the Elizabeth B. Cummings Innovation Center at the AMU University. Imagine that for our students to be learning better, to get better access to Google Tina to learn. Then he decided, he said, no, I would look for local organization in Liberia that are trying to do work for people to bring water. About 20 other organizations, 20 projects. He decided to sponsor 20 projects for organizations who were building pump, digging well, helping to provide clean drinking water. He stopped there. The man spent almost $4.5 million in the Pinsville area, around the Dupont area for you who, who actually live in there to build the first school they call STEM school. That school is supposed to help our children and learn about computer, about technology, about math, about science. The first time ever in the history of Liberia. The man stopped that the man convinced a friend in America during the Ebola crisis. That time, you're not even thinking about running for president. During the Ebola crisis, he convinced a lot of BP people in America. He brought all of them with him to Liberia. He said, you got to go see for ourselves what happening in Liberia. He brought some top branding from Coca-Cola. Because of that, they decided that during the Ebola crisis, Coca-Cola would not shut down. While all the other companies that were closing, Coca-Cola remained open. In fact, Coca-Cola increased. They are working in Liberia by employing more Liberians. Now, what could we not do? The main staff there, our president Ellen Johnson said, he saw the thing and said, so What? The man is too good. I, I, I can't believe the thing the man doing. So she decided to get a man the highest owner in the Republic of Liberia. He said, I will honor the man for the kind of good work he, he's doing. Long me to call the thing the Night Grand Band in the Humane Order of African Redemption. Now, what Ellen Johnson said, he get a man to honor the man. I said, even Jua Howard Taylor, Jua Howard Taylor that running will open today, she saw the thing. She said, what? I can't believe it. They may are too good, man. They may are too good for the country. They may are too good the way they may help in the country. In fact, she saw the thing for long. She said, you know what? In fact, I ain't in love with it, man. They may are too good. But the man will have said, eh, eh, that one not there. He not doing it for you, Jua. Don't be in love with the man. Yeah? He married. That's my husband. He only doing it for Liberia because he really loved this country. He launched the Cummins Africa Foundation. Since the man launched the foundation in 14 months, the man had undertaken 22 projects and he now supports 25 different organizations in Liberia. And about 30,000 plus Liberians now benefit from the projects the man now do. He now spent about 289,000 US dollars on education, agriculture, and health. The how good a man is the man paid the wire school fee for 2,322 students. He won. He spent about 106,000 US dollars in actually doing it. The man stopped there. The man went to BWR. The man saw BWR. They played dark, no current. All our politicians have been in the country passing around. They never talked about it at all. The man decided, the man said, okay, I will change this thing. And I'm good for the people to be coming to school, no lie. The man bought this big generator. Big generator. The generator can electrify the whole BWR and even provide more current to people outside of, of BWR. 350 kVA. The generator cost the man $67,000. The man said, BWR, you all use the generator so people can come to school with life. Now, that Kumi's man, they're talking about, they say the man are good, they don't know the man, the man just coming. Now, the man, oh, my people, when you go vote, remember, Alexander B. Kumi's, the man won't change the country. The man won't make the country better. He said, you gotta stop supporting a politician who been lying to all finally you gotta get together to make our country better remember number five elizana b Cummings. number five they call the man talk and do the man say he will bring all of us together to help make our country better so vote wisely vote number five talk and do